well, we've got 750 people applying like that to, uh, to volunteer, and we have to run the selection process to arrive at the creme de la creme. <laughs> that you all are. Quite open during the interview process, saying, you know, you might be stuck in the pouring rain, guiding people to events that you may never get to see yourself. And you, you get a feeling, enthusiasm comes through, and you realise that people either, it's, it's either they love the arts, and they love the theatre, or they love the, the ballet, or they love Manchester. Today we're here at Manchester Museum for High Tea in Wonderland. The volunteers at High Tea in Wonderland have been absolutely amazing. We've had one volunteer, Tony, who was an absolutely incredible artist. She came and just made this absolutely gorgeous forest. She's putting them up quicker than I'm making them. And everyone's just throwing themselves into this fabulous adventure. The volunteers are at every single venue and every single show throughout the festival every day from 9 in the morning to 11 at night is the latest shift. Festival Square is always the main hub, the volunteers love it there. And today I am team leader on Festival Square. I think it's lovely to meet so many different people and I think for me as a raging extrovert put me in a t-shirt that says volunteer it means I can talk to anybody. The team, you know, back at the ranch, Fee, Ella and Kaylee, really enable people to go and volunteer on those parts of the festival that they're most interested in, which is great. You can be any age, you can be in any walk of life, you can have done any job, but we all sort of muck in. Working with the volunteers has been amazing. They're integral to the whole thing. The work itself is a document of the festival and that means quite a lot of the volunteers have got to perform in the thing um, and become part of this proper record of the festival. The best part of the role actually is chatting to the public and yeah. talking to them about what's going on and what's happening and, and what the art is, whatever it is. We've got about 10 volunteers per show to help us with the children, to register them, to make sure that they safely travel to the performance and then actually within the performance they're kind of with them so they have to learn the songs and signs too. I am a civil servant. I'm basically stuck behind the desk. It's really good fun to get out and about, meet new people, make new friends and see places that I've never seen before even though I've lived in Manchester a long time. These two, three weeks is a wonderful opportunity for a group of people to come together as a community and volunteer for the city because the city, I think, is the number one passion for all of them. People are proud of Manchester and want to be part of the festival. You've been the face of the festival, the voice and the heart of MIF 15 and I'm already getting a bit emotional. <laughs> it's just going to be uh, so sad on Sunday when it, when it finishes. I miss all these lovely people I've met. It was just a ma ma one massive family and it was like, come on in, you know, like, there's going to be a lot of friendships. It widens your horizons over the festival. You just get into it and it, it's so absorbing. I said, I'll have withdrawal symptoms. <laughs> massive, huge, amazing thank you to all of you lot. You are a real credit to the city. I hope to see you in 2017. Thank you.